Hey folks, have you been wanting for some additional buttons and knobs and dials inside of Unreal and you really wanted to share those with a friend and colleague? Then you've come to the right place. Unreal 4.27 Web Remote is getting a great overhaul and it'll let you create an interface that you can send out to another computer or a tablet and have somebody else control that. This could be great for virtual production as well as something like virtual reality. So in addition to that, as a bonus, we're going to go over turning on the level snapshot. And it also has the ability to talk to the sequencer in 4.27. So without further ado, let's jump in and get started. I wanted to point out that if you're using 4.26, you're going to want to go to the marketplace and grab the free remote control web interface. In 4.27, it seems like it's built in. So here we are in Unreal 4.27 pre-release version three. And to get started, we're going to want to turn on three plugins. So go under settings, plugins, and we can type in web control. And you can see the two plugins you'll need, the remote control API and the remote control web interface. And then also, if we're going to want to do the level snapshot, you need to turn that on as well. So we'll just snapshots and there's the plugin. And it'll ask you to restart once you do that restart the editor and you can see level snapshots will come on and then also you can start creating web remotes. So uh, here I created a folder, control shift N to create a new folder and we can just, so here we are. And under miscellaneous, got a remote control preset and create right here. I'll just call this my web remote control preset and we can Double click to turn that on. I have it docked right here. It seems to be working okay. Before I jump in and start turning on the different variable attributes in the web remote, I just want to point out a few things under the project settings. So the remote control web interface here, it's connected to port 7000. Um, you can also force the web build at startup. Now, in the previous version, I also had to go in and install the latest Node.js information to my computer. Now this may be in just all encapsulated in Unreal 4.27. If you think that this isn't quite working for you, I'll put the links in for the latest Node.js. And I had to restart my entire system once that was all installed. So just pointing that out. Here's the information about the web control server and then also the since we installed the level snapshots there's also information about how the data is handled and um, where it's handled you know and how it's also uh, formatted okay so now that we've got all that what happens is is that when you turn on this on let me select this light when we turn on the edit mode, you'll see all of these show up. And what are these? Essentially, these are eyes that when you turn them on, it's just like the convention in blueprints where you reveal a variable or an attribute. Uh, but what I like to do is I like to create a group for each object that I'm setting. So it just keeps things organized. So I just click here, new group, we'll edit the name, we'll call it light. And then we'll add the intensity and the color. We could do the source angle as well. And we'll also select the clouds, create a new group for clouds, and just add those. What else we can, I added a camera, a group for that. Cam, location, rotation. We could add other attributes, but that's fine for now. I also have a sequence in here as well. And we can add a level sequence from the editor. But for now, this is good. Let's just save really quick. What we can do from here now is that we can double click on this and we can launch the editor. So if we click on here, it'll open a web version internally. But the other thing that I wanted to point out is if you want to be able to send this to somebody else, you can type command prompt and you can type IP config and you can get your um, IPv4 address. Now I have that blocked out just because uh, you, you generally don't want to share that with somebody that you, you don't at the end of it. And I'll show that in a second. So you click on this edit mode 
we've got this showing up and it would be your address since this is a local host right now um, you would just type in your ipv4 and then put colon 7000 okay so now that that's on then you can turn this from control to design and you can see tabs up here you can create new tabs we'll do that in a second and the first thing i'm going to do is start dropping properties in so we can start out by the with the light and just drag these properties in some properties you can drag in and they will allow you to like add them to the same panel so the, the source angle and light intensity work well also some of them you might be able to choose the different widgets so there's the list of widgets here and some of them you can flip between in terms of the properties so like this uh, let's see does this have an yes yeah, so you could change this to a dial instead of a slider if you wanted so some of them you can change what else let's see oh let's change the name of this tab so we go here we can change the let's rename the tab we'll call this light not only that but you can add uh, icons which is really nice you just type in the light and there we go we can add a light bulb i'm not going to do this for all the tabs but now we can create a new tab call this new tab cloud and there is there's a cloud icon which is kind of cool we can go back to our properties we can drag the clouds here and you know i just want to show that these are all live we've got uh, the ability to change these settings on the fly now it's just that's just wonderful uh, the other two things that i want to quickly show before i uh, log off here is that under the tabs here you can add a snapshot tab and you can see that i've already been trying out different snapshots and we can also add a sequencer tab and by having those you can actually just activate the level sequence from the web remote and here's the level snapshots i found that i could take snapshots but the applying or restoring of snapshots work best from the snapshot editor let me just pull this off the screen for a second there and i'm going to open up the snapshot editor so yeah this it didn't seem to be 100 percent connected well with the web remote for the snapshots yet in the pre-release version so hopefully they'll look at that all 100 percent working but this editor seemed to work fine i was able to restore and create level snapshots you just click level snapshots and then you should see this yeah so here are the different and then you just double click and you can restore like that and it just pulls in the settings it's a lot like um, the variant manager except for it's just taking a snapshot of all the different settings which is pretty wonderful I love the variant manager but we basically went over how to turn on the plugins how to create different groups how to start to edit your and build an interface uh, you can you can even um, go in and you can create interfaces for the camera and move it around with the dials i didn't show that yet so we could here's the camera so that the location and rotation you can turn those into um, instead of like sliders you can also even joysticks which is kind of fun as well on the tablet and there's even more support now for some external hardware if you have something attached to your tablet like a um, set of joysticks it sounds like that's more and more available to connect that covers the basics let me know how this is all working for you and I'm really excited to try this out, especially for a VR project and some virtual production that we're working on. So don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, give it a like. Thanks so much.